Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for September 22nd, 2014. It's currently 8 a.m. and it's the start of another work week. And this week is going to be incredibly quiet with high pressure pretty much in control throughout the entire week. Right now, we do have a weak cold front that is moving through the region. Could produce an isolated shower uh, this morning as it's moving through, but I expect most locations to remain dry with clear skies to sky cloud cover throughout the region. You can see up here in uh, around, around Binghamton, we have one lone shower here that's being reported. Other than that, pretty much high and dry out there. You can see the winds are from the west right now around 5 to 10 miles per hour. They will veer to the northwest and increase to 10 to 20 miles per hour this afternoon. Meanwhile, temperatures are not going to be moving all that much. What you see is what you're going to get for today. With temperatures struggling in the upper 50s to lower 60s over northeastern Pennsylvania, lower to mid 60s over the rest of the northern interior, including much of Connecticut, northern New Jersey, and the Hudson River Valley. Meanwhile, over the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area, temperatures will range from the mid to upper 60s for highs this afternoon. A few locations could break 70 degrees, like let's say in uh, Philadelphia or in immediate Newark, where you have more concrete, so it's a little bit warmer. Other than that, it's going to be a breezy cool day this afternoon with clear skies and winds around 10 to 20 miles per hour. And it's going to feel cooler too with that wind. So let's say you get to 67, but it feels more like 62 or 59. So definitely a cool day on the way. You can see on the surface map that secondary cold front is approaching the region. Again, I can't rule out an extremely isolated shower, but most locations will remain dry with this frontal passage. And then this high pressure system that's over the plains will pretty much remain in control all the way through next weekend with clear skies, light to variable winds once we get through this afternoon, and temperatures averaging below normal to start the week, near normal by the time we get towards the end of the week. There's a chance we end up with above normal temperatures. I know the GFS Moss Guidance is showing that. However, I have my doubts on that and I'll show you why. On the infrared satellite picture, obviously no radar today because we don't really need it. Skies are clearing out throughout the entire region and uh, high pressure is going to be in control. And we can see that very clearly here. On the water vapor satellite picture, a nice deep trough is basically set up over much of the eastern United States. This trough will remain in place for the next two days. And then you see all this developing out here in the Pacific. What we're going to develop over the next several days is what's called a zonal pattern, where the jet stream basically moves from the Pacific to the Atlantic right along the Canadian border. And what that typically means is that warm temperatures stay to the south, cold temperatures stay to the north, and we're pretty much in a temperate zone where we end up with temperatures pretty much averaging near normal. The only question is, where does the high pressure system set up? And that is going to be a key factor in the forecast of temperatures over the next several days. So I'm using the European model guidance for the most part for this forecast period. I like the way that the European model guidance is handling the pattern overall throughout the entire northern hemisphere. The GFS to me just seems a little bit too robust with the warm temperatures by the end of the week. And the reason why is pretty much the difference of where do you put the surface high pressure system. So for today and for tomorrow, high pressure pretty much locked in over the Great Lakes and northern mid-Atlantic with clear skies and light and variable winds. Temperatures tomorrow morning are going to crash into the upper 30s to lower 40s over the northern interior. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a few mid-30s mixed into some of those valleys. Along the coast, look for lower to mid 40s for lows over the New York City metropolitan area and upper 40s to lower 50s along the immediate coast and in the Philadelphia metropolitan area. High temperatures on Tuesday afternoon, tomorrow afternoon, mid to upper 60s over the northern interior, mid to upper 60s in the New York City metropolitan area, and upper 60s to lower 70s in the Philadelphia metropolitan area. Clearly below normal for this time of year, we should be around 74 to 76 degrees. So we're going to average definitely a below normal to start off the week. However, as we head towards Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, that high pressure system starts to shift more towards the Atlantic. But where in the Atlantic? You see, the GFS has the high pressure system here. The Canadian and the European model guidance has the high pressure system towards the Gulf of Alaska, 
as we move on towards this upcoming weekend. And the difference in those high pressure system locations is key between having a southwesterly wind or a southeasterly or easterly wind. And we saw that influence yesterday when I warned that temperatures likely will not touch anywhere near 80 degrees in the New York City and Philadelphia metropolitan area. And in fact, they didn't. They stayed in the lower to mid 70s over the New York City metropolitan area and mid to upper 70s in the Philadelphia metropolitan area. The only place to hit 80 degrees was in east central Pennsylvania, basically from Allentown down to Lancaster, where we had a com combination of perfect area of convergence and confluence, basically sinking air, clear skies, and you ended up with warmer temperatures. In this case, once again, location is key. So what I decided to do is stay below the MOSS guidance for this upcoming week, especially towards the end of the week. So what I'm looking for basically are low temperatures in the mid to upper 40s over the interior, upper 40s to lower 50s along the coast, high temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s over the interior, lower to mid 70s along the coast, could see a few locations hit 77, 76 degrees, especially over the Philadelphia metropolitan area where you have a little bit more of an influence from the urban heat island. But overall, I'm staying below the 80 degree temperature that is being forecast for this upcoming weekend for Saturday and Sunday. I don't think that's going to happen at this time based on where the high pressure system will lock in. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen D. Martino. Follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and LinkedIn. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe out there.